the overflow of migrants is being felt from Texas to New York, where a plan to house bust in migrants in the New York City suburbs is drawing huge backlash today. Laura Aguirre has the latest. Migrants arriving at the U.S.-Mexican border near El Paso Tuesday, waiting for Title 42 to expire in the hopes that if they get into the U.S. then, it'll be easier to stay while seeking asylum. We expect to see somewhere in the neighborhood of about 10 to 15,000. We're going to open up two schools. We have the convention center prepared and the um, uh, Red Cross has come to assist us. But on El Paso streets in pre-dawn hours, federal agents were kicking off a targeted enforcement operation, handing migrants flyers, encouraging them to turn themselves in to U.S. Customs and Border Protection so they could be processed and put on, quote, the correct immigration path. Several told CNN they feared deportation if they did so. Texas has been busing migrants by the thousands to places like Denver, Chicago, and New York City, where Mayor Eric Adams' new plan to house some migrants at suburban hotels in neighboring counties is catching heated backlash. My social services is already maxed out with the, our homeless shelters full, so we're very concerned about who these individuals are, how long they're going to stay, and who's going to take care of them. I would think if the mayor is going to come up with a ridiculous plan like this, which is not viable and not workable, he should have picked up a phone and contacted us and truly coordinate this. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting. It's no secret crossing the border is very dangerous, but what kind of situations are these migrants putting themselves in just to get into our country? Our reporter, Karina Pizarte, got a firsthand look at just how risky some of their journeys are. The demonstration shown by Border Patrol is a small portion of what migrants go through when crossing illegally into the United States. It's not worth it for migrants to cross illegally the border. From swimming through dangerous canals to being stuffed in vehicles during the hot summer months, migrants making some risky decisions ought to try to get into the United States. Border Patrol giving us a first-hand look. Reporters along with the Mexican consulate experience what it feels like to be hidden inside a cargo trailer or inside the trunk of a vehicle. How hot is it going to get in there? What about restroom? What if they're claustrophobic? How are you guys? What about breathing? These are just some of the dangers that these migrants face. Border Patrol agents say this also helps them prepare for a possible influx as Title 42 comes to an end this week. There's a myriad of threats that, that Border Patrol agents face on a, uh, on a daily basis, whether it's a, a Title 42 ending or a surge or a, a migrant caravan. You may remember the caravans from several years ago. So uh, absolutely, I think we're ready.